Very, very simple terms. Why does it break? What makes uh, it break? Gravity. 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 Yeah, well, you definitely have to have gravity. No. But we can have gravity and no break, right? You have a straight slope. butt? Slope. Yeah, right. Okay. Slope. Um, what kind of slope? Because I can have slope and have a straight butt also. What kind of slope makes it? Side slope. Side, side slope. The ball breaks because it's tilted sideways. Mm. Okay, I can tilt it forward and backwards. Mm -hmm. It changes the speed, but it doesn't break. The minute oh. I turn it sideways, then it breaks sideways. So break is as simple as that. If you tilt it sideways, it breaks sideways. The more I tilt it, the more it breaks. That's it. That's that's really how we. That's how simple green reading really is. If I can determine the amount of tilt, then the break is very simple from any mm. any distance. It, makes no, it doesn't matter how far. Whether it's six feet or 75 feet, it's the same. Just how much side tilt is there on the putt, and then I'll show you how to get the correct break visually based on the amount of side tilt. So the only skill we have to practice is how to put a number or a value on side tilt. I've got to be able to walk on into my putt and say, that feels like a one or a two or a three or a four or whatever. Put a number on it. And the minute there's a number on it, then I can get a very, very accurate break. Okay, it's like yardage. Okay, we all put a number on the distance to the pin, right? It's 155 yards, because we can work with the number 155, right? If I was caddying for you, and you and we were on a par five, second shot, you said, how far is it? And I said, uh, kind of far. <laughs> okay, can you work with that? Is that helpful? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not helpful at all, right? It's, <laughs> does that mean 180? Does that mean 230? I, I don't know what that means. Yeah. So the way we, we hear about people reading greens these days is they say, oh, it breaks a lot to the left. No. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. You know, it's, it's a very ambiguous, yeah. not very helpful way to talk about it. So we're going to put a number on the slope, one to one to ten, but ten is a, a ton of slope. That's that's about a ten right in there. That's barely a ten. That's how much slope a ten is. Um, most putts are kind of zero to three, zero to four maybe. Anything more than four is a lot of slope. You'll get it on long putts, but you won't get it so much inside 20 feet. So we're going to train for five minutes or so just feeling.